Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I'm doing tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I'm back on Leak Code. Uh, it's been a while, but here I am, and we're going to get back into it. Uh, we're going to start with an easy problem here. This is a tree problem. I've done most of them, but I guess I missed this one. It is the last easy one I have to do. Um, 108, convert sorted array to binary search tree. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to take an array. Um, given an array where elements are sorted in ascending order. Okay, so we're given an array and the elements of the array are sorted. So for example, like this, negative 10, negative three, zero, five, nine, sorted array, right? We know that. So we wanna be, when we're given that array, we wanna convert it to a height balanced binary search tree. Now, if we wanted to just convert it to a binary search tree, what is a binary search tree? It's a tree where each tree node, a binary tree, because binary is base two, the tree node can either have no children, it can have one child, or it can have two ch children. So, um, you know, in this case, this node has no children. In this case, this node has one child, which is negative 10. And in this case, this node has two children, negative three and nine. So there we go. That's all it meant. Um, for this problem, a height balance binary search tree is defined as a binary tree in which the depth of the two subtrees of every node never differ by more than one. Meaning just that uh, subtree can be like, you know, this is a subtree, the negative 3 and 10, the negative 9 and 5 is a subtree. Um, the heights of these subtrees, they never differ by more than one. So there's not going to be like this this side, the right side of the tree isn't going to go down like three more levels deep than the left side. It's only going to differ by one at most. Okay, so um, how do we do this? How do we take an array and turn it into a tree? Like, do we loop through the array, and then do we just make the tree, and then it's like, okay, like, how do we, negative 10, we just make that the root, and then we just go left is through negative 3, and then right is 0, no, you can't do that, and you can't do that, because one thing you also have to make sure you remember about binary search trees is that these are somewhat sorted as well, and how it works is, on the left side of the tree are elements less than the root, and on the right side are elements greater than the root. So you can see here we have zero is the root because it's the middle. It's it's basically in the middle of all these elements in the sorted array. And what, what's happening is we have zero, and then we have negative three because it's less than zero on the left. Nine is greater than zero, and it's on the right. And then five is uh, to the right of negative three and to the right of zero, but it's to the left of nine. So you know what I mean? It's just left is for, so it's kind of sorted. You know what I mean? The, all the way, the leftmost elements are going to be the smallest elements. Rightmost are going to be the greatest elements. So that's how it's kind of like, you know, you could start to put it together a little bit. You see you have a sorted array and it's like, okay, well, it's sorted. So we know that the smallest elements, so like, how do we set this to the leftmost element though? How do we set the greatest to the rightmost? Like I can't just construct my tree from the leftmost node. Do I do like dot parent or like, you know, that might be like what you're thinking, but here's the way to do it. In a sorted array, I have this in my study guide on my Patreon if you wanna check it out, but it is when you see sorted array, I say first thing you should think of is binary search. And really, that is pretty common. Like whenever you see sorted array, like think binary search. It's always going to be something related to that. And if you think of binary search, the way we can construct this tree easily is we can start at the root because the root is going to be the middle element. And then when we make the root to the left, it's going to be the middle element of the left side. And when we make the root to the right, it's going to be the middle element of the right side. And we can keep constructing this tree using a binary search. So um, I'll just show you a little bit better example I had right here so that um, it makes a little bit more sense. So you could see how... Uh, let's just code it actually. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to say, okay, we're given this array. It's the sorted array. And we see we have a tree node. We have access to the left, the right. We could set the left, the right, and the value. And there's a constructor, so we could pass the value in. So first thing we'll do is if our sorted array's length is zero, we'll just return null. Um, otherwise, we'll return a, a helper method called construct tree from array. You know, we could call it that. And we'll pass in nums.length minus one, if I could click that. Okay, so 
This is going to be a helper method that returns a tree node. It is also going to take the sorted array. And like a binary search, we're going to kind of do a recursive binary search with this method where we take in a left boundary and a right boundary, much like in binary search. So we're going to say int left, int right. And in this method, we're, we're going to treat, we're going to, in recursive methods, when you're doing recursion, always check the boundaries. So we don't want the left to be greater than right. So if left is greater than right, we'll just return null. Um, and then we'll calculate our midpoint like binary search, uh, left plus right minus left divided by two, because this is integer overflow. If you just did like right divided by two or whatever, you have to make sure you do it like this because of integer overflow. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, tree node node is equal to new tree node. We're gonna build a new tree node of the middle element. So we get the middle index of the array and then we make a tree node from it because that's gonna be the root. That's how we start. So the first call we make to this, we're getting the middle element of our sorted array, which is zero in this example, and we're gonna make that the root. So we're gonna return node, right? We're, that's gonna be what gets returned as the root node, and that's what's gonna be returned from the method. Now we have to set the left and right. So node.left we're going to set to be equal to the recursive call like in binary search, we're going to then do uh, from the left side. So the left side is going to be from left to midpoint minus one is going to be the right boundary. So from zero to the middle, el the element right before the middle element. So you get this as the root, you set it as the root, and then you set send the boundaries from this element to this element. And we want to recursively call on that. Um, and then we're just going to set the right node to be equal to the um, right, no, from midpoint plus one, sorry about that, to the right boundary. So that's just going to be you're calling the recursive call on from five to nine, right? Because midpoint plus one from five to the ending boundary, which is right. And that's all, that's the whole problem. Like it, I'll explain it, how it works is like, you set you get that middle element right we got the midpoint we pass the sorted array we get the midpoint we make our tree node and we return it that's the root but we before we return it we do these recursive calls that keep going deeper and deeper into recursion and node dot left is going to be set to the middle of these boundaries so that's going to be set to negative five in this case right you could see negative five i made i added a couple elements to the example so it's more clear and then negative five calls on the for the left element to negative ten, and negative five calls to the does the recursive call to the right element to negative three. Um, and then on this side, it was the middle of these eight is the middle, and then eight calls the middle of this boundary in the middle of this boundary, which are just one element, so five and nine for the left and right. And that's it. That's all you have to do to solve this problem. It's a pretty easy, straightforward problem to get into tree problems. Um, definitely learn the pre-order, post-order, and order traversal, some of that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you need any more deeper explanation into this, but it's just a little bit of a, uh, binary search type call, uh, binary search pattern to, you know, construct these trees. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, join the discord. We've got everything in the description, like Patreon and that, and I'll see you in the next lead code video i'm back on this lead code stuff so don't sleep on me i'm doing all these problems i just needed some time to i had to do stuff all right see ya